Canvas uses an inbox feature to help keep track of your conversations with classmates, professors, and TAs from all of your classes. Every page in Canvas features a help bar in the upper right hand corner. To access the inbox, simply navigate to the help bar and click on the inbox link. The inbox link displays the number of unread messages you have. If there is no number, you don't have any new messages. The inbox is divided into two windows. The window at the left contains a preview menu. Here, you can see all the messages you have for the selected category. You can select conventional categories like unread, starred, and sent messages to filter the contents of the preview menu. In the preview menu, each message has primary content and other information. Primary content includes the sender, the corresponding course, and the first line of each message. Viewing primary content helps you to find the message you wish to read in your inbox. Additionally, each message preview shows the total number of posts in each thread, as well as the time of the most recent response. If you hover your mouse over a message preview, you have the option of changing the message's category by clicking the gear icon at the right. When you remove your mouse from the message preview, it displays the time the most recent post was received. Once you find the message you want, click on the message preview. The entire thread will open in the window to the right. The message window shows the sender and course at the top of the window. Full message posts, their authors, and the times they were posted are listed for every entry. If you click the checkboxes at the right, you have the option of deleting or forwarding all the selections at once. To compose a response, simply type your message in the text box at the top of your selected message thread. To compose a new message, click the pencil square icon in the preview window. Clicking this icon opens a new message template in the message window. As prompted, you can type the name of a person, course, or group. When you do, a menu with relevant Canvas item results will pop up. Click the desired name or names on the list and they will be added as message recipients. You can select role-based lists of people from each course by clicking the person icon at the right. The icon brings up a list of all your courses from which you can select teachers, TAs, all students, or members of a student group as the recipients you'd like to add to the message. You can also attach files or record video and audio for your messages. Simply click on the attach and record buttons at the bottom of your message template. When you're done composing your message, click send. Now you know how to send, check, forward, and delete messages in Canvas. Thanks for watching.